don't go to school kids i'm kidding go to school stay in school kids but like don't go to school like it's awful there's so much work hi guys it's lucy and today i'm going to be doing a review of a book called carefully everywhere descending by lb bedford i received this book from net galley as an er so it was for free in exchange for an honest review which is what i am doing today because why would i make a review that's not honest i don't know I don't know where I was going with that. So this review will be spoiler free, so you don't have to worry about spoilers or any of that. This book is about Audrey Anderson, who is poor. That is one of her main defining characteristics, that she is poor and she has one friend and she just spends all her time going to school and sometimes hanging out with that one friend. And then this girl who previously, like before the events of the book happened, insulted her, asked her for help tutoring, and Audrey's like, what? That you didn't like me? And then there's kind of a romance aspect there, and Audrey completes tutor tutoring this new girl whose name is Scarlett, and she's also contemplating her feelings for Scarlett, and that is basically what the book is about. It's about Audrey liking Scarlett. Scarlett, that's the book. Or that's what I thought the book was supposed to be. So, as I said, those two names are both names for girls. So there are LGBT elements to this book in that the romance is the L. The L part. Which is what originally intrigued me to read this book. Because I was like, you don't often get to read books about lesbians. Usually when it's LGBT, it's usually the G. Not so often the L. So I was like, I want to read that. And I was expecting like a super fluffy, light romance like oh they don't like each other at first and then they like each other like that kind of stuff i love that stuff but this really disappointed me i gave it two stars i just didn't i just didn't enjoy it every time i opened the book i started rolling my eyes everything just felt so awkward that was my main point like i did not enjoy the writing at all because all the dialogue was just so awkward it wasn't how normal people would speak it was just I don't have any examples, but it just didn't feel like natural at all. And Audrey had one friend. Their friendship was so awkward. I couldn't see at all why they were friends. This is not, like the way they talked to each other was not how you talk to your best friend. That was my main issue that everything just felt really awkward to me. The characters were one dimensional. They were just so boring. Like her best friend, she was kind of there sometimes, but like times when you would talk to your best friend, she didn't. And it wasn't because she was trying to hide it, she just didn't because she was, like, she didn't know how to act around people. It was really weird. I wish I could give examples of the dialogue, but I don't have the book anymore because NetGalley, like, takes away a copy, your copy of the book once, like, the time limit is up. So I should have written some down, and I'm sorry for that, but I just found the dialogue to be really awkward, and that was my main issue with it. I also had the issue of the romance didn't, end up making any sense to me. The way Audrey ends up liking Scarlet doesn't make sense. It was mostly more, it was one minute, wow, I really do not like this girl. The next minute, wow, I'm in love with her. Like, that's how it felt. It was super insta-lovey, but it was kind of one-sided insta-love, and it just didn't make any sense to me. There was also the aspect where she was poor, which I thought was like, an interesting aspect because most YA is told from this perspective of like upper middle class people and so she was poor, she lives on the wrong side of town, but the way it was explored in the book was not well done in my opinion. There was a lot of telling rather than showing and so it didn't make me feel any sympathy or any kind of feeling for her. The last aspect of the book that I just really didn't enjoy was actually the ending. The ending made no sense. It came straight out of left field. It seemed like the author was going in this one direction and then she just immediately started going like up. Like she was on like a walkway and then she took an elevator. It didn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't know what was trying to be done with that but it didn't, it just didn't make any sense. It had nothing to do with really the rest of the story. There was no reason for it. The book could have ended in a better way, I believe. The only aspect that I did like was, as I mentioned before, that the LGBT element, the L, it was basically normalized. There was only one comment that was still like, not an insulting comment exactly, but 
it wasn't seen as a big deal, which I appreciate because I was not looking for a book where the person is exploring coming out or anything. Like, I think there should be more LGBT books where the person is what they are, and we just, like, continue the story. So I think that's all I really have to say about this book. Yeah, I should be doing, like, my chem lab, but here I am not doing that. Yeah. And, like, insulted her. Sorry. Like, and my fridge just turned on, but it's okay, because I'm gonna keep going. I don't know which finger. It's L. And the last, the last aspect, aspect,